Hello, lovelies. Hello. Good afternoon. We are here with a super excited sloth. You all right there? <laughs> Very excited, Kaylee. By the way, guys, I've just been to college uh, to have a meeting with Kaylee's tutors and she got an absolutely fantastic report. Let's all do a woo! Yay! So, so proud, my darling. And here's Marky Moo. You all right there, bud? Yeah. Yeah. So... We've been sent some gifts. I've had to turn those ones over because it's got the person's um, address on. If you do want to send anything to the Myers Monkeys, it's Myers Monkeys, no, M Y E R S, Myers Family, the Flint's Guest House, 101 Park Road, Blackpool, FY1. For ET, and of course, we're not begging for gifts or asking for anybody to send anything, but we have been asked for the address many, many times, so that's why we show it so that you know. And we do gratefully receive anything that is sent, yeah, monkey, aren't you? I think we're going to start with this one first, we're going to open this, and then we'll give the children theirs because they've got individual parcels. So, just one minute. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's like Christmas, isn't it? It's very kind of people to send gifts. I don't know who these are for, but we will see. Very well packaged. Oh, oh it says Katie, eh? Hey, Mama's got one. Just give me a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm intrigued. Oh, there's a postcard. Let's see this. To Katie, we have sent you a gift from Benidorm. Hope you like it. Joanne and Cyril. Yo. Oh, they're in Benidorm. That's so cool. Thank you. That's going up on my wall at home, that. Oh, ha, ha. Yes, I love fridge magnets. I collect these. Oh. <laughs> we won't show that one. <laughs> hey, look at that. That is lovely, um, but I'll keep the other one off because uh, it's a family channel, but thank you. <laughs> what Kaylee's face. Um, how can I open this? Oh, is it a tea towel? Oh, I think it is. Oh, lovely. Benidorm tea towels, eh? One of my favourite TV shows is Benidorm as well. Joanne, Cyril, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That other um, Magnus proper made me giggle. That's funny. Right, we're going to go on to the kids' presents. Thank you. And I hope you're having an amazing holiday. I want to go to Benidorm as well. Maybe we'll join you next time. Let's do kids' ones now. Right, Daniel Spaniel. Let's see what's in yours and make sure you don't show the underneath because it's got the address on. It doesn't open. Stick your thumb in. There oh, you go. Now, these presents, I believe, are sent from Ruby. Ruby lives in Blackpool, but in Ireland. So they actually have a Blackpool as well. They went from Blackpool to Blackpool. Yeah, I think that's so cool. Two Blackpools. Very well wrapped, isn't it? Ah, oh, I bet Daniel will be good at this. Turn that round, darling. Buzz wire game. Yeah, you'll have to test that out after when we've done the present openings. We'll let you have a go at that, yeah? Let's get the next one, but we can't show the address. Who's this for? Mark. Right. There you go, buddy. So what do you say to Ruby? Thank you. Go on, bro. Get those muscles. Mr. Muscle Man, aren't you? Yeah, I don't want that one. They're really well wrapped. I'm terrible at wrapping. Put it up on the table, Mark. Mark from Ruby. Yo. Oh, football Yo. table. Yo. Turn that round. Whoa. That is so cute. Yeah. Lovely. And now it's. Yep, Kaylee. Something for Elvis. This is so lovely, though, of someone to go out and to choose gifts for everybody like that. We have got one for Perry here, which obviously we can't open. Oh, oh that's, so cute. that's cute, is that? Thank you. Uh, yeah, Perry's present is here. I'm not going to obviously open that. We don't see Perry um, at all much 
at the moment because he's got two jobs. So we will give him that to open at home. Anyway, on to the last one. Right, this is mine from Ruby. Let's see what I've got. Oh, Ruby, you're so sweet. Oh. oh, I think that's got makeup. It's makeup brush set, is that? Thank you. I actually need some new ones. And what have we got in here? This is lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's a makeup bag. I needed a new bag as well, somewhere to put my bits. Thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Let's take that from <laughs> you a second. So while we are here, oh, look, there's a, there's a visitor. Hello. I don't, I don't want to be on camera. No paparazzi. So while we are here, um, we have filmed at the Flint's guest house before, but they've changed quite a bit since we last came here. So this now is the guest room. So you've got here your toaster, your coffee machine. What's the other one? Is one coffee, one tea? I don't know. But haven't they done a good job? Look, you've got all your coffee pods and... Uh, oh, they've got the uh, flavoured um, coffee sachets up there, look. <coughs> Tea. You've got even lemon water here, look. And then over here, the bits for your cereal. You've got cashews and cranberries, mango, mixed seeds, raisins and cranberries, all that sort of stuff there. So, yeah, they've done a good job, haven't they? You've got bits down here for the children, look, books and pens and headphones there. It's good, isn't it? Nice room. I like those um, lights up there. What do you think, kids? Is it very, very snug here? Yeah. Definitely, it's better in here. I mean, the other room was nice, but it's better for the family to have the other room and this is a new addition this is actually a church pew look at that that is a pretty awesome pretty beautiful piece of furniture what is it doing sorry <laughs> down here you've also got uh, some board game slot as well so you've got everything you need for a family to come and stay in here lovely room So we're just here in the Flint's guest house and some of you may have noticed that this is quite a bit different. This is the new guest room. Isn't it lovely? TV up there and Heather is so lovely. Look, you always get some uh, some welcome nibbles there. How are you doing, Heather? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great, apart from the weather. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not great. It's not great. No, not great. Might. But nice to see this. It's looking really good. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a work in progress. It took us a little while, um, but we think it's the best way forward for the Flints, um, especially for our, our anxious guests, because before we kept walking past the dishwasher in the background, the washing machine, not great if you're in sensory overload, but this is a room where you can shut the door. We're not going to bother you. You can relax. You can make yourself a cup of coffee during the day. So we hope our guests will like it. We do. And then you do have um, a lot of people that come to stay here that do have sensory needs. Yeah. You know, a lot of autistic people are here because you're very much up on it. You understand it very, very well. Yes, yeah. From experience, so um, being a family that has gone places with three autistic autistic children, uh, we've understood some of the judgment that comes from others, some of the looks that you get, um, and we wanted to create a safe space. Um, and we're constantly learning. We don't have all the answers. We don't have it all right. Everyone's different. So we get to know our guests when they arrive try and make it as comfortable as we can for them and yeah this is one of those spaces where hopefully they can feel relaxed and not harassed by us it definitely is very comfortable here and another great feature is that you have pay it forward here mm -hmm. which i think is wonderful so that somebody who can't necessarily afford a getaway if there's enough money in the pot at the time yeah. they contact you they could effectively have a little holiday for free yeah, so we work a lot through charities and organisations up and down the UK. We're always looking for people to partner with. Um, and some people, when they leave, they slip us 10 or 20 pounds. 
Um, and that's always uh, just such a lovely thing. We value that so much. And that goes into a little pot of money. It helps us to offer our referral rate um, for families that need it. And occasionally we are able to help somebody out. Um, um, if we get that vibe, if we've got that money in the pot and we're chatting to somebody, um, we just trust our instincts and that's really where we go from there. Um, so could somebody, if they wanted to donate, can they do it online? Yeah, absolutely. I would say find us on TikTok or Facebook and get in touch and we'll find a way for you to safely donate. Um, and it, just to give you a bit of um, an idea, for somebody that donates... Ten pounds that would pay for one child for a night stay here on our referral rate, and that really can be the difference between uh, a family or a single parent bringing all of their children, you know, or being feeling like they can afford to bring all of their children, and it's the difference between them coming to Blackpool and not doing anything, or being able to come to Blackpool and go out for fish and chips, or and a, a mother, a mother that's got a child with sensory needs that might feel embarrassed to go to a hotel because the child is running around shouting dinosaur 27 times or you know here come here <laughs> shout dinosaur join because we get it we totally get it yeah um literally uh we have children that have run around the house doing t-rex impressions we totally get it we love it we embrace it we understand you as parents and we have a lot of love to give to their children. We don't have special equipment. You know, I think we've got a sensory blanket, or, uh, you know, a weighted blanket and a few knickknacks. But I think ultimately what we have is ourselves. And we're so relaxed. And um, we just have a heart for those families because we've been there. We've been that family. We still are that family. So, yeah, one booking at a time. So you can come and be dinosaur to your heart's content. I think that's one of the things I love about this place is that you only take one book in so that, you know, you've got the whole top floor to yourself. The lounge is yours. You really can put your feet up and be at home here. Yeah. And the way you go the extra mile for your guests is one thing that I love. So if a mother got in touch and said, you know, my child is autistic, he will only eat Kellogg's cornflakes. You'll yeah. turn up and there'll be Kellogg's cornflakes. Yeah. If you said he'll only eat a gold bar, then maybe <laughs> not. You won't be accommodated. <laughs> Sadly, we always try it. We try and do our best. Um, it, like I said, it's not always going to go to plan. Um, we're going to make mistakes. Um, but definitely if somebody's saying uh, that there's something that will make the difference, that will stop the meltdowns, that will stop... Um, tears um, and upset then we will do our, our best to, to, to do that because we just know and, and kids know they're going to know whether you're getting own brand or Kellogg's yeah. trust me we've tried to pull that one on our own kids it doesn't work <laughs> Oh, it really is um, a fantastic place. It's something that's very different to your standard guest house in Blackpool. And I, I for one, am glad I found this place because it must be so valuable to so many people. Yeah, we have some really lovely reviews on Google because um, we're not we're not on booking sites. So if you want to see reviews, that's probably the best the best place. Um, and the the guest book upstairs. Um, when I'm having a day where, because I have lots of aches and pains, I'm getting old people, I have <laughs> aches and pains. And on those days where I've got eight beds to strip, which is one of those days today, and uh, the, the washing is coming out my ears and I think to myself, what am I doing here? I go upstairs and I read the book. And, and for every family that's come and said, we couldn't have done this in a Premier Inn. Uh, we would have struggled, you know, if there were other people in the hotel. Thank you for looking after us. And it just... Yeah, it gets me in the feels, it melts my heart and it keeps me going. So yeah. That's really, really, really fantastic. Um yeah, we can't get upstairs at the moment because guests have literally just left, but I have filmed upstairs twice at least. So if you go over to YouTube or if you're watching this on YouTube, uh type in Maya's Family Vlogs, the Flints, F-L-I-N-T-S. And you'll get to see all of the guest accommodation upstairs. It is beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Go over to their Facebook page, The Flints Blackpool. Uh, yes. Yeah, The Flints yeah. Blackpool. I'll put the um, the link in the description and go and give them a follow because Heather and Leighton really are amazing. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.